Oh, we lost it in the middle. Sorry, guys. I probably hit a button. Okay, 36 is three times as many as 12. Write this comparison as a multiplication equation. So, what times what is what? Because we're going to use a multiplication, right? So, which factor are we going to use? Could we start with 3? Sure. Could we have started with 12? Absolutely. Equals, oops, 36. Because they tell us what the answer is. Let's see if it likes that. Oops, did it not like Oh, it wants us to use, oh, well, hey, look, we're learning. So, 3 times, oh, 12 equals, where's our equal sign? There, a comparison as a multiplication. 3 times 12. Equation. No, it says equation. We want the equal sign. I'm not seeing the equal sign. Are you guys seeing the equal sign? Ah, there it is. Okay. Learned something new today. And then 36. Let's see if it likes it that way. Remember to use their little box. <clears throat> Aha. Okay. Good. Well, I'm glad we practiced. Okay, there are five penguins on snowy rock. There are seven times as many penguins on Glacier Point. Which equation will help us find out how many penguins are on Glacier Point? So snowy rock has five, and there's seven times, there's your, there's your word you're looking for, as many. Okay, so it's going to be seven times your penguins, and that's going to give you your glacier. So which of these says... 5 times 7, 5 times 7, equals G. Or remember, we can go with 7 times 5. Oh, equal G, because that's how the, that's the total, that's what we're looking for. Oh, we know this one. We already did this one, right? 4 times 10. All right, here it is. Does the 3 stay the same? Yes. Did the 9 stay the same? No. What times 9 is going to give us 18? Yes, 2. Because you're just breaking it down. You're looking at the factors. So 9 times 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, gives us 72. We could just look at our number line. Ta-da! Remember, take your screenshot and attach it.